Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to use an, our LC display, liquid crystal display. Uh, we remove this protection cover now. Oh, always a nice feeling to remove something from a brand new device. So this is our LC display. I will do the hardware setup. I have linked down there uh, a map. Uh, because you have to connect it to the Arduino in a certain way. Uh, there is, I'm not going to explain this, um, just show you how it works. Uh, so... Have you seen how fast this is going? Huh? Pop! And it's there. <laughs> okay, what we've got here, we have our SAD. We have some power lines, some are for background lighting and so on. This here is for adjusting the contrast of the LC display. And then we have four data lines, the white ones. And then we have reset lines and, and data and, and synchronization lines and so on. And that's it. Yeah. So the only thing is we have, we are using uh, six outputs of our Arduino. And with these six outputs, we can program the, the LCD display. Say where the cursor has to be, say what it needs to print there. And these are all commands we set, send to the LCD. Luckily, we don't need to know how this is really working. Yeah. There is a built-in library. Somebody else did the job for us and we are just using the code in this library. Okay, so plug it in. Yeah. You see it lights. This here should be the backlight. Yes, so this is the backlight. Uh, this is the contrast. Alright. And the rest is up to the software. Okay. And how this is working? We have a look at the computer. Okay, so how do we use this library on our computer? Well, open a new project, new, new sketch, save it under a new name. Eighteen LCD. This is good. The library is called Liquid Crystal. It should be already built in. So we are including include pointy brackets liquid crystal dot h. Okay. This liquid crystal. Uh, this is providing a, a so-called object, uh, a liquid crystal object. We are using it like we would define a variable. Yeah? And the type is liquid crystal. In reality, it's a so-called object. Object is combining methods and data for one specific part. Liquid crystal. Okay. LCD. This, what this exactly is, is defined in here. Yeah, we are, we say we use this here and also we can use this type. If you are not writing this line, this liquid crystal says, I don't know this. Yeah, but since we are using this, since we're including this library, it says, okay, well, I know what to do. We're defining now a variable, an object, LCD. Yeah, and we need to give all this data, all the data lines we have. There is a reset line, enable line, and the four data lines. I will simply uh, write them yeah, because then we know what we are talking about. 
this is another great benefit of using compile time constant. Yeah? Because then exactly know what this is. Yeah? And of course I have to define all those stuff. So I write define. RS was 7. I connected this to 7. Enable, I connect it to 8. D4, I connect it to 9. D5, I connect it to 10. Okay, now we have produced an object called LCD and this object, this library provides pretty much a lot of functionalities like we've already used in serial. Yeah? So we can use lcd.begin and, and now we need to give the number of columns, this is 16. Yeah? And the number of rows, this is two in our case. So we have, 60, we have two rows and 16 signs. Yeah? Two by 16. This is, and I will also define this because then I exact, now I don't know exactly what is the rows, what is the lines and so on. But if I define now compile line constants, define, uh, LCD, Rows and define as the columns, then this is 16 and this is 2. Yeah? And I will use simply the compile them constants, then the code is much more readable. All right, and now we are here at the top left corner of our LCD. So we can use, I said it's working pretty much the same as, as uh, serial and I will print, I will simply print, print HTL St. Pölten. St. Patel St. Pölten. Okay, High Technical College St. Pölten. Good. Yeah. And in the loop I want to print how many seconds. All right. So I will set the cursor to the first sign in the second row. The first sign is zero, okay, index zero, and the second row is index one, not 41. One, one is sufficient. Uh, set cursor zero and one. Good. Uh, and we're going to print the seconds, which is already running. So we're dividing the millis divided by 1000, of course. Okay. So this is all that the loop does. It will start always there and print. Jump there and print the new value. Jump there and print the new value. Okay. Good. Let's see how this looks like. Hard tails and Burton and counting. Okay. Hard tails and Burton and counting. We can adjust the, the contrast from nothing to okay to really bright. Uh, here you see the seconds exactly like we would expect. Okay. Right. So now you've seen a print, you've seen how to position cursor and so on. If you want to delete something, you just have to write blanks there and so on. There are other, other methods. You can easily find them on
on the Arduino page. So there is, if you go to the chapter uh, libraries, you will find somewhere LC liquid crystal. Here it is. Yeah. And you see here there are a lot of commands. Cursor, blink, no blink, display, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure you can find what you need there. You could also try to write the number of seconds in binary form next, next to it. Good. You could try different things with this. Next time we're talking about a completely different topic. Next time we're going to talk about uh, humidity and temperature sensor. How this is working and which sensor I'm talking about will then be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.